Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry, featuring RV travel, outdoor cooking, boating, and amazing road trips. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Don't forget to subscribe. In part 10 of Return to Washington, Rob and Sherry start returning to Arizona, crossing the Oregon border at the Columbia River. And later that day, finding themselves at Central Oregon to have one day layover. Good morning, people. So today is Sunday. This is our last day of driving. We got up at three o'clock in the morning. We're just past Hawthorne, Nevada and can't find a place to eat so we got to live on Doritos for a while. So anyway, we got a long drive between Hawthorne and Las Vegas. There's a whole lot of nothing. So uh, it's still pretty early. It's only 5.30. So I, I know it's not real light. Sorry about that. So anyway, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the desert and I think we uh, uh, hoping to be home around dinner time. So about five o'clock. We'll see how that goes. So anyway, getting there, tired. All right, here we go. Arizona. So we just crossed the uh, Boulder area, crossed the Hoover Dam area, and now we're in Arizona, thank goodness. And uh, so yeah, I'll show you some of the road. And uh, the only sad thing about this whole thing is how much work is going to entail for us to unload the truck, which is tomorrow. So anyway, uh, it's been a long time, but we finally got back to Arizona. There's nothing worse than driving 11 hours straight, getting almost home, and hitting a traffic jam. This sucks. Hi guys, so we're almost home. We're, oh, maybe another 45 minutes out. I thought it'd be interesting to show you what it looks like during the summer season. Um, usually in the evenings or just out of the blue we'll get what's called monsoon. And so we're not in one but you can see some in the background. So I'm going to put this on the dash so you can see uh, these really mean looking clouds that pass by. They dump a bunch of uh, rain and they do some lightning and on they go. And, but they can really cause some quick flooding and flash floods. So anyway, here you go. Unknown to Rob, this monsoon was going to affect Rob and Sherry something fierce. When they get home, they're going to find out that the monsoon's going to hit their home 
and the wind's gonna kick up and there's gonna be a big surprise. So we're just about home, like maybe three miles from home. And man, do the clouds look nasty all around us. So might be able, might be filming some monsoon dumpage going on here, but I'll put it out the window so you can see. The closer we got to home, the clouds were getting thicker and the wind was kicking up and Sherry was actually having a hard time driving the rental truck. And so uh, we were starting to get a little bit concerned. And so uh, as we went down our street, we even noticed that some of the trees in our road were actually down. So uh, now we're kind of like, hmm, this could be a problem. So we just got home and uh, you see the spots, one of the monsoons coming through is, you can see it blowing the, the trees and it's starting to rain and uh, really, really humid and it's going to dump here in a minute. So the interesting thing is, oh, you probably saw earlier, the tree was down right in the middle of the road over there, but my tarp on my boat is still there. It looks really good. So, welcome to Arizona. Yeah, still blowing real good. Sorry about the wind, but it's a monsoon for God's sake. Oh, and that's the rental truck. It's gonna start dumping. So the most important person here on this trip is Kitty. And she's been here waiting for us. Hi, Kitty. Meow. Meow. Oh, I think she's kind of mad at us. So if you guys are wondering, we used uh, Rover.com to get someone to watch our cat. And so it turned out really good. And every time she came over to check on the cat, we got pictures and, and the cat's very happy to see us. But I gotta let Cinder outside. You won't believe what you're going to see in a minute. But while we we're gone, we had some monsoons. <laughs> and uh, our cactus fell down. <laughs> oh my. Patio furniture. Well, Cinder, Cinder. Yeah. Well, damn. <laughs> so our, our patio furniture got wiped out. And now we've got a one ton Sororo sitting in our backyard. So, anyway. So, remember the torrential rains I told you we'd be having? They're here. Look at a pool. And there's my down Sororo. <laughs> yeah. So, really good to be home. Hey, it could be worse things. I um, guess I'll just have to grow more tomatoes next year. Everything else seems to be fine. So, yep. Monsoon time. So, of course, when this monsoon was going on, I forgot we had our clothing bag in the back of the truck. This thing here. Needless to say, it's a lot heavier than it should be now. And, uh, so I showed you the backyard, but the front yard is a river. The road is. And we're getting some really good thunder. But yeah, it's, it's dumping good. It's still going. This is what a monsoon is like. And uh, tomorrow will be beautiful. <laughs> you can't imagine how much water is coming down. Okay, we're going to make a run for you here. We're going to take a look at the river. See the water coming down? much water is coming through here. All the way across. Okay, We're getting out of the rain guys. So, just 
There you go, monsoon in Arizona. The last thing I want to show you before I close out this video or this series is we told you we're bringing a whole bunch of stuff back from Washington. The drawback to that is I lost my garage. So there's a lot of junk. <coughs> so I was so proud of myself of being a minimalist even with a house and now all this stuff was in storage and I lived without it. So what does that tell you? So it's going to take months and months to sort through all this stuff. Uh, some stuff I need to give to our kids, <laughs> like pictures and stuff. Others is uh, this gear we don't use anymore. A lot of it's like old cassette tapes and things like that uh, that uh, it's just hard to get rid of. But uh, anyway, so it's back to the drawing board about being a minimalist. I've got a lot of stuff to sort through. This is only if, oh, half of it. We have two spare bedrooms that we brought some beds and stuff to. They're full of boxes too. It's ridiculous. So yeah, um, <laughs> back to the drawing board about being a minimalist. But I hope you enjoyed the series. It was quite a trip. We got some great uh, camping in and RVing and had the opportunity to see our friends and had uh, the chance to bring back all of our stuff from Washington, which is saving us quite a bit of money and not paying for storage anymore. We have a house. <laughs> Pay for it there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching our final series of Return to Washington. We also made a video of how we had the cactus removed from our home. We're grateful that we got home safe and sound. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Bye now.